the government has successfully reopened the $2 billion euro bond and raised an additional $750 million or $67 billion from the listing. The top the top sale, as the bond is called, comprised a $250 million five-year bond and $500 million ten-year bond. It was listed at a premium, meaning that its yields were lower than the original euro bond and was received by Treasury on the 3rd of December 2014. The bond was oversubscribed by over 400%, receiving bids worth $3 billion against a target of $750 million. The funds will be used to fund infrastructure projects in the energy, transport and agriculture sectors. We went this route of tapping, as you know, in our, in, we had uh, budgeted to also issue uh, a Sukuk bond and also um, Sumurai or Diaspora bond. We were working on that. We are continue to do that, but uh, we, with these resources now available to us, these uh, Sukuk bonds, we are looking at them now for the next financial year. Uh, we took advantage of, of the tap sell because of the favorable price <coughs> to uh, pick the, 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 the money that we needed, uh, which otherwise would have issued maybe through Sukuk, which may, would have been lengthy in terms of documentation. Uh, but this was quicker and also more cost efficient because we didn't need to uh, spend much uh, time on documentation and also roadshows.